What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come at you another video. So, guys, it is finally here, man. It is finally here. After all the weeks of spe uh, speculation, the you no, know, the draft videos I've made, it is finally here, man. Today, we are going to officially find out who the newest members of the Philadelphia Eagles family are going to be, man. You know, today we find out for sure. You know, all the speculation, all the you know the, the the draft videos I've made, you know all that stuff, man. After all that stuff, today we find out for sure who's going to be part of Philadelphia Eagles, man. And I you know um, the Eagles have been very, very. Um, they've been in the headlines a lot lately. You know about moves they could, you know, potentially make trade, you no know, trades they could potentially make, moving up in the draft and stuff, man. Just a lot of a lot of speculation, you know, that's been going on with the Eagles, and. Um, most Eagle fans know, you know, most Eagle video makers, Eagles YouTubers, whatever you want to call us, man. Most of us on here on YouTube have been uh, saying that we expect offensive line or defensive line as the first round, the first over, the first round pick for the Eagles. But could the Eagles potentially uh, pull a shocker and go for a skill player? Is, could they potentially pull a shocker and throw us all off of what we are accustomed to seeing Howard Roseman, Roseman make? Well, according to um, many analysts out there, many reports out there, that's what a lot of people expect. They expect the Eagles to um, to make a move that many of us many of us don't see coming. And the one player they, they expect the Eagles to be really interested in, he is he is rumored to be at the very top of the Eagles draft board. That is Marcus Hollywood Brown. He's 21 years old. He's a junior from Oklahoma State. He's five foot ten. He's 170 pounds. Um, according to reports, um, the Eagles are very they, they're very high on this kid. They got him at the top of their draft board. And if he is not there, you know, at 25, you know, where the Eagles are slated to draft at, then they expect the Eagles to trade down. That's what they expect. They expect the Eagles to trade down if, if Marcus, you know, Hollywood Brown is not there. Um, at Oklahoma State, he played. He played. Um, he's a junior there. He played um, the sophomore junior year there. Uh, he was a first team All American in 2018, a first team All Big 12 in 2018 as well. His in his college career, he has 132 receptions. He has 2,413 receiving yards and 17 touchdowns. Um, he he is a cousin of uh, former Steelers now. Um, um, Oakland Raiders wide receiver Antonio Brown. He he grew he um he he grew up a Philadelphia Eagles fan. You know he grew up a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles. So I think that could be another reason why the Eagles might be really high on this kid. You know they want somebody that comes in here who really likes his team and you know and you know can, 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 you know contribute very well. Um, his arms his arms are um are thirty one one half um. His hands are nine inches. He has a six point fifteen draft grade, and many analysts right now are comparing him to Tyreek Hill, who obviously is the the speedy wide receiver for the um, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, he did not participate in the two thousand and nineteen uh, NFL scouting combine due to having foot surgery. So yeah, um, the Eagles are reportedly very high on this kid. And let me just say this, man: if the Eagles do draft this kid, man. You can, you can say goodbye to um, Nelson Aguilar. There's no way in hell we're keeping Nelson Aguilar if we draft Marquise Brown. I'm just going. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. And the reports that the Eagles you know that many teams see that they see Nelson Aguilar as uh, available. That would really that that would really bring some light to those those to those beliefs by teams, man. To those reports. Yeah. I, if we if we draft this kid in the first round. Yeah, you can say goodbye to Nelson Aguilar. This kid would definitely be Nelson Aguilar's um, replacement. And like I say, he's being he's being um, compared to you know Tyreek Hill, who is one of the best receivers in the game. You know, young receiver, speedy receiver for the Chiefs, man. You know, absolute playmaker. And you no, know, he's being compared to him. Um, he grew up an Eagles fan, like I said, man. Which is which is great to have a guy come come to your team that rooted for the team his whole life. That's also great, you know. So, yeah. Eagles draft this kid, man. Say goodbye to Nelson Aguilar. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. Um, the, the reports about Aguilar are still floating around, man. There, there are reports the Eagles could could deal him today. You know, doing the draft, they could use him as draft. You know, they could use him as draft bait to uh, move up in the draft. 
So who, who knows, man? Just so many possibilities the Eagles can do um, today. Um, we'll find out later on this evening exactly what the Eagles do, man. I am absolutely pumped, man. I can't wait for this draft. Um, it's, it, it, uh, get your popcorn ready, like T.O. would say, man. Get your popcorn ready because it's definitely going to be a show. It's definitely going to be a lot of drama going on this draft. A lot of, you know, lot of storylines and a lot of stuff happening, man. A lot of things unfolding, you know, within within that first round for sure, you know, and I, I can't wait, man, you know, you know, draft, I got the draft fever right now, guys, I definitely have draft fever, you know, I, no, I, I've always followed the draft closely, but I've never been, I've never had the fever, you know, the draft fever like I do this year, man, like, I, I can't, I can't wait, man, I definitely cannot wait for this, this draft, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a good one for sure, definitely gonna be a good one. Um, guys, if you're new to my channel, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that comment button. And also join me later on this afternoon on Joy Shakes 72 channel. Um, Joy Shakes is doing a um, a Google Hangouts with other you know Eagles vid makers. Uh, Philly Jam is gonna be there. Um, Desi Eagle Nine is gonna be there. And he's not really a vid maker, but Edge Bacon Grizz is gonna be there as well. And I definitely be joining in with those guys as well. Just you know, just discussing this draft, the possibilities, what's gonna happen in this draft, and where do we think certain players are gonna go. Um, that hangout is going to be today at 2 o'clock Eastern time, uh, 1 o'clock my time. In the, I'm in the Central time zone, but 2 o'clock Eastern time, which I would imagine most, most of you guys are probably in the Eastern time zone. But, yeah, 2 o'clock Eastern time on Joy Shake 72's channel. But, you know, we're just going to sit there for a few hours, discuss the draft, um, you know, possibilities of where, uh, what could happen in that first round. We, you know, just so many possibilities, man. So make sure you join me on my boy Joy Shake 72's channel at 2 o'clock Eastern time um, later on this afternoon. Like I said, Des Eagle 90, Philly Jam, uh, S. Bacon Grizzler, myself, Desi E. Excuse me, myself and uh, Joey Shakes will, be, will definitely be there. So definitely make sure you check that out. Come, you know, come on through and check that out. But, yeah, once again, Marquise Brown, wide receiver Oklahoma State, is rumored to be the number one, um, you know, number one on the Eagles draft board. Um, you know, if, 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 he, if he gets drafted before the Eagles have a chance to, to, to um, snatch him up, then reports are saying that he could, you know, the Eagles could potentially trade out, you know, out of the uh, first round. But we'll see, man. We'll find out later on this afternoon exactly what happens. But as always, go birds. Um, Spunky Nights 91 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.